there are leadership still to get from this collab, quite frankly. So we're going to do that. We're not going to bother about Messier's assault because we're not going to get to the end of it. And frankly, well, firstly, we wouldn't have the time to get to the end of it because the half an hour thing. And secondly, I don't think I have the ability nor patience to get to the end of it. But we're definitely going to do these ones that have the star stages to them. I'm going to get them all sorted out and fantastically done, basically. So let's, I guess, look at the world beyond. Ah, that was the one that... Mr. Mr. Mache was recently giving a go at. No. Right. Uh, I feel like this one just kind of remains a sensible choice. My my cat's of the cosmos slot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one. I reckon that seems like a kind of sensible thing. Sensible thing to give a go. Good job we got noise suppression going on there. Because I mean, honestly. What are we doing here? Like, the, the, there is some serious noise kind of out of my computer. And I, I maintain this. There is kind of no reason for it to be huffing and puffing. So huffily and puffily. But unfortunately, that just seems to be what it's doing. Unfortunately. I wonder if I uh, could uh, maybe put some uh, app policing in. Because I've got an app called App Police. It's lovely, actually. You can sort of limit the amount of CPU that processors are taking up, and that's kind of fantastic. It's got a nice, understandable interface, and it's all lovely. In fact, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to do typing bracket activity monitor. We're going to try and find out what's going on here. I suspect OBS is trying to use more CPU than exists. So let's see if our hypothesis, hypothesis is, is correct. Just over 100%. Okay, okay, so, uh, yeah, okay, well if I do that, I minimise the, uh, the audio, uh, that will maybe help with Windows Server, as they call it, uh, just got my deployment up, haven't I, I feel like I might have messed this up a bit, not sure, uh, but if I get it just looks like it's sort of a combination of Google Chrome and OBS, which, you know, is what is required to stream, so everything else is closed. Uh, if I go app up a puff, three, three P's in app police, what we'll do is we'll go to OBS, and we'll limit it. I assume my audio must have corrupted as well or something because, um, I don't know, that or people weren't listening, but th this is why I'm just trying to limit the CPU usage, get, oh no, hang on, no, no, okay, well it's, it's, it's still huffing and it's still puffing, isn't it, that's just, that's, that's something that's happening there, 
Right, what are the time score awards? Oh, XP. Oh, I don't care. That's fine. We don't we don't really care about that. That is that is fine by me. Normal rare, super rare. That will be all right as well. We'll go for it with the Cats of the Cosmos slot. Um, so yeah, I was just limiting the CPU to try and get the computer to calm down. My theory is is that these streams start by recording at the same time as streaming. I would love an option to be able to record at much lower quality when it's recording the stream, but didn't seem to be able to do that. So it records at like the, the biggest quality my computer can handle, which is done when not streaming. Uh, so it just blows up the computer. And I reckon even despite stopping the recording, it, it kind of causes a big puff puff problem for the computer fans. Uh, and so I've just tried to calm it down and then start it off again. But actually it's huffing and puffing again, which is unfortunate. And I kind of, well, I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, I guess we'll just have to accept that and just hope that the stream kind of works. You record the stream at the same time? No, not usually. Well, I I, I did uh, for a little bit, but that was before I upped my recording quality. And that was because, I'll tell you why, Twitch archives sometimes get bits muted off of them. Now, I always thought, and the adage always seemed to be, you can use whatever music you like on Twitch. But apparently not. If you use a kind of copyrighted song, it goes <laughs> on that part of the song, part of the stream with the song in it, and just blows up all the audio completely. Which has actually really negatively impacted me in a stream archive that I wanted to make good use of. So I, I wanted to record them directly so that we wouldn't have that problem and I wouldn't have to rely on downloading from Twitch. But as it stands with the quality that it's supposed to record at, it, my computer won't be able to handle it, which would mean between recording an actual video and doing a stream I'd have to change the recording numbers each and every time, which is irritating and annoying and just not very good. Uh, but it seems like my computer just can't handle streaming on its own at the moment, which is sad. Oh well. What is the best collab event for you? Evangelion all the way. Just absolutely. Probably because it's the only like co collaboration thing other than Crash Fever that I've got properly involved with. And it's just glorious. I love it. It's fantastic. And what's also good is is the noise suppression. Because I mean, if the, I'm complaining about the huffing and puffing from a point of view of worried about the health of the stream and my computer. But the good thing is, is that unlike perhaps before, at least you can't hear the computer huffing and puffing, or at least my audio waveforms are indicating that you can't. Maybe you can. Maybe maybe it's just the idea of the sound even has just come into your head and I've sort of ruined the illusion by talking about it. Oh well, you can't hear it, so shush. <laughs> or don't shush, because maybe that the only thing that's stopping you from hearing it is the talking. Anyway. Get rid of activity monitor then. Well not get rid of it, get rid of the window. And let's see to this level. No deploy limit this time. Let's just spam stuff. And well, we got the monies for it. Seems sensible to me. The uh, chill cat. No aliens here, but, you know, chill cat's pretty good now, so it's fine. Masato, you know, no aliens here, but she's good. So, yeah, basically, we're, uh, we're rolling in it. Breaker blocks. I mean, I was informed that it's fairly decent. Um, so... I'm happy to kind of have that around this strat here. It certainly seems like it. it. It does a decent chunky knockback, which is missing from the cannons other than the normal one. We've got like finally got a proper alternative when you want to knock stuff back. You don't just have to use the initial cannon, which is pretty rad. Pretty good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Hey. Look at me. Good stuff. So we're really gonna get through that. So that's all rather good. Oh, breaker blast, yeah. Also I reckon it's probably faster response than uh, using the normal cat cannon. Oh. Good, good, good. Bye bye, cheeky and I end them. You will be missed. Probably. Got all the rewards that time then. Doesn't really matter. XP, isn't it? XP I won't be using. 
About getting the leaderships, that's what it's all about. Oh, if you wondered about these Enigma stages, I did too. I'll see to them after Midas Touch, but, you know, for now my energy is dedicated to A, Midas Touch, B, and we're doing B here, getting all of the leaderships we can from this collab. Okay, let's transfer over to City of Souls. Do you think Ponos should bring back old collabs? Um, definitely. I, I mean, when I mentioned Crash Fever a few minutes earlier, I was like, oh, Crash Fever, yes. I like. Is good, yes. So I'd be well up for that. Uh, certainly Crash Fever bringing that back. Evangelion obviously needs to come back. People think it will. I thought there was a date set in stone that it was directly after this collab, but apparently that's no longer true. Guess it gives me longer to save up my cat food, so that's fine. I mean, that's one thing that does go well with watching F1 races, right? You know, two hours at a time, but you don't have to pay so much attention as you would to, like, a TV drama. So you can just watch ads for cat food during it. Like, boom, 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 cat food, boom, boom. Quite, quite an efficient way of doing it, but I'm on it, so that's good. Right. Okay. Uh, looks like we don't need to go very quickly here, and also, who cares about these time score rewards? Because it's XP. I mean, getting the rich cat would be nice, but then again, we get loads of lucky tickets anyway. So, eh. Muk Woof asks, How are you feeling about Messier's assault? Well, it's a, it's a good question. Oh, this is the level Matt just left when he seemed to be doing really well at it. He's like, ah, I'm just not going to carry on and lose. And I'm like, hang on, Matt, you, you're advancing here. You're about to win. Peculiar. <laughs> um, the polar opposite of me, like, continually having to go at a stage that I have, like, no hope of winning. Uh, just in the hope of making some progress, which we sometimes do. Anyway, sidetrack from the question. Uh, it's all right. I like the song, but fundamentally for me, it's a barren stage. And fundamentally for me, barren stages are boring and kind of a pretty poor addition to the game. So I don't really care about getting Messier's Assault done. It's a nice challenge. I reached stage eight, which is probably pretty dismal in terms of progress, but it got too difficult to beat with the generic slot. Couldn't be bothered to make something specific for it. The song with terrible lyrics, you know, the, the lyrics will just make me sad after a while. And there's Midas Touch to do. If Midas Touch wasn't on, I'd probably give it more of a go. But while there's Lucky Ticket Stage on, that takes the absolute priority over everything. Because Lucky Ticket Stages are just fantastic. In so many different ways. You can solo stage. Look at Lucas's vid. Well, yeah, no, I'm sure. Well, one thing I'm sure of, as sure as death and taxes, is that Lucas IV is good at the game. Um, and another sure thing is that people can do it. I know people can do it, and I know there are ways of doing it, and I know even I had capacity for making more progress uh, through Messier's Assault, but I just don't care about it. Lucky ticket stages take absolute precedence for me. And what would take absolute precedence here would be success uh, over kind of failure, basically. Because I, 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 really, I really seem to be struggling. You know, I have to be pretty saucy with my meat shields here and not do faux pas like putting Paladin out. Oh, what is that? Is that Monsieur Lucky Escape? No, because the boys are not dead yet. Just hope that we don't die muchly. Hopefully we'll be just all right and it'll be okay. Oh, oh, get out, get out. Don't put Paladin down. Don't do that. Slow them. Slow them. Come on. That one. That one. No. 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 Hmm. No. Okay. That's that's a definite no. Uh, it's not. It's not no continues, right? I sincerely hope not. Let's do this properly. Yeah. Do you think Neo Mushroom collab is the oldest? It's not. Um. The because I know the first collab I saw was the Mola Mola one. Um, like when I started Battle Cats, I remember Mola Mola. Uh, I don't know if that was the first one. Uh, that's what Watanum Warrior believes. So, yeah. Mola Mola is definitely older than that, though. Just Mola Mola came back, and we love that. Muk Woof says, I tried out doing Messier's Assault, and a nice way for me to put this is that now I feel less tempted to continue it after Stage 8. Stage 8's the one I got to, Muk Woof. Look at us. 
Look at us, birds on a feather here. I'm not sure McWoof would be entirely pleased to hear that. <laughs> but I can I can understand. I'm not uh really not one for it. Definitely all for Midas Touch Iron. Certainly a lot more for Midas Touch Iron, but anything else around here. Though the collab's been nice. Don't get me wrong, it's a good chunky collab. Um and my relative lack of interest in it is I reckon about 80% Midas Touch, 20% not knowing about the subject matter. Because although I loved Evangelion the first time, and it kind of hit pretty much favourite collab, when I actually found out about Evangelion and watched it, I fell in love with the collab when it came round again. And, you know, now it is absolutely unshakable in, in terms of top collab. I, I don't think it would be possible to top that. Even with my like suggested collab ideas, like Stranger Things collab would be pretty amazing. I reckon TV show collabs, you know, is something I'm obviously going to be very interested in. I'll be down for Power Pro to come back, absolutely. Power Pro, I think, was the one that Evangelion kind of was tying with. Actually, I don't know the chronology of it. W was it before or after? I don't remember, but Power Pro is up there with like my pre-watching Evangelion opinions on Evangelion. Power Pro is great. I like the characters. It was a, a decently sized cola. Would love for that to come back. Got got Subaru, which I now appreciate in a in a good enough sense from that. Pajiri, great unit, basically. But yeah, we've had we've had some good collabs over our time. Nothing can top Mentori, obviously, but you know other things give it a go, don't they? I am distinctly anti zombieless with this slot. I, I mean, I hope I can actually do this because 300 energy I don't want to waste, but it's going to be pretty challenging. I mean, I I don't know quite what I'm doing here. Maybe if we lure. That would be a bad idea. The Yuki seem to be going the same speed as a zombie. So let's just like not do that. Let's get Eva Zero Zero out and see if it can take some chunky hits on the zombies and receive some chunky hits gracefully without dying. That would be pretty marvellous. We'll have some protected Jizos behind Eva Zero Zero. Oh, oh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. What order should I watch the Eva films? Well... I mean, there's only a few films, right? Uh, I mean, the rebuilds just watch them in the, in the order they've been made. Uh, as respects the end of Evangelion, I always recommend to people to only watch the first half of that. Just don't watch the second half of the end of Evangelion. The only good thing about it is Com Zusa Tud, uh, which you can just listen to online. Uh, but other than that, it's just utterly dreadful. Um, and, you know, my TV series watching suggestion is episodes 1 to 24, the first half of End of Evangelion, episode 25 and, six, 25 and 26 from the TV show. Um, but, I mean, if you're watching the rebuilds, just, just watch them. Just watch them there. They've got a kind of more sensible order. I mean, they go a completely different way. I guess that's why they're called rebuilds, right? But, yeah. But I don't like the way they go. I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, some elements of the rebuilds are lovely additions, but other than that, you know, I don't like the direction, man. But no spoilers here. I don't say any more than that. Don't like the direction. No, no, no. Oh. You know what? This is going to be a, 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 a big thinking emote kind of challenge here. Is this re a realistic prospect? Oh, my computer's quietening down. Oh, that's surprising. Maybe it's finally given up huffing and puffing. Throwing a strop and now it's ran out of energy to throw that strop. But I mean, really, this is going to be a difficult hole of my silliness to get out of here. This is going to be a challenging one. A definite, a definite challenge. Maybe I should just kind of go wait for the Jizos to die. And then kind of alternate Jizos because otherwise, I think what we find is that I get a huge stack of dead Jizos, and nobody wants that. That would be just the bad. Oh no, the computer's back up and up. Oh well. I guess you got break breaking news about that. Come on. Oh no. No, oh, no. I might have actually done that just right. Who knows? I think I'm just going to get overrun anyway. This is going to be. 
some like absolute challenge. Challenge I'm willing to take up though, because heck, 300 energy is a lot. That's three Midas touches. Quick maths. So I'm not willing to waste all of that. Come on, Jizo. Be the success. Yes! Oh, have we pulled this back from the brink? Have we brinked it? I, I don't know if we're going to brink it, but if we are, we need to clear out Yuki very quickly because I'm conscious of it being on the base. Like Amina in floor 39. Oh, lovely. Zero, zero. Lovely stuff. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. For some reason, I was interested with the Chakra Planet color. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that could definitely do with more content. I reckon it'd be pretty good if it did have more content. Like a sort of safari through Battle Pass. That'd be fun. Anyway. As the cool kids and mate informed me used to say, uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. Oh, look at that. Cheeky victory. We're in the jaws of defeat and no anti-zombies. I reckon alternating Jizos helped us there. That was pretty good. Happy with that. Oh, there's more. Oh, it's 250 energy. Been lying to myself. Can't believe it. Ah, good. I am glad I, I looked at that. Uh, that'll be fine. We've got Shadow Gale and we've got Eva Zero Zero. Not going to be as much of a problem. Uh, I guess we'll... 37 past 90. That's alright. We'll spend a leadership to earn ourselves a leadership. Four digit energy. And let's go. Reggie, can you tell me about Ava 2.0 and onward? Um, I'm I'm kind of I'm not gonna do any any spoilers here, just to say that actually I can't remember. <laughs> I believe that um, Rebuild 2 follows very much the same plot as the TV show, and it's from the end of that film and onwards that it diverges. Uh, diverges a lot from what originally happened. But we won't talk about what happens, because we don't know who hasn't seen what and who wants to see what. Uh, but I reckon there'll be pretty good synopses online, or even better, find them and watch them. I have 3.33 on DVD, but one and Rebuild 1 and 2, they were far too expensive to buy, so I watched them through other means. I think it's only fair, really. I paid for the DVD where the price is reasonable, but the price is not reasonable for the first two. Those, uh... Those films are definitely findable. I swear. I should also know, I don't know what the music is playing. You can hear it, but I haven't I haven't done my headphones today. Uh, because I thought, well, I'm only going to unplug them and plug them back in. And I don't know if I've told any of you about this, but my computer's in a precarious headphone jack position. I'm already having to use a... Um, a kind of USB adapter for headphone jack because my computer's own headphone jack port uh, is kind of corrupted and doesn't work. So I, I don't want the USB thing to break, so I'm just sort of switching out the inputs as little as possible. I thought this time I don't need to hear no music. I'm a, I'm a hardcore boy. I think we're going to get Cyberpunk out here. I feel like that would be more sensible. A nice bit of regulation from Cyberpunk. Get them, get them slowed. Maybe not all slowed, but the front runners slowed. And that would be pretty good. Pretty good enough. Oh, good. Shadow Gaz not dead. That's good stuff, because there's more normal type enemies appearing. Yeah, level 5 worker cap. That suits. That doesn't. That was bad. That was not good. Okay. What's our next play here? We haven't got enough time to save for anything, so I reckon it's Jizo time. Da 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 Jizo time. Do 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 do. Jizo time, yeah. Oh heck. Flipping flop. Well, I mean, just yeet, basically. That's uh, I've I've I. It's fine. It continues, which is what we like. I'll give it another go. Did Ray get roll rare tickets on this collab? I did. No, I didn't. Not tickets. Cat food, though, which I'm beginning to regret. Evangelion's coming up soon, but there we go. Um, and you can find that on the archives uh, of this Twitch channel. 
it will be there. There it will be. Right. Okay. Let's get let's get this done properly this time. Was it base hit? I can't remember. But let's do some regulation. I was just watching myself do this in the beginner account actually. Stalling an otter. But this time we do it with Jizo, because we are a filthy cat Jizo in the main account with absolutely no decorum. It's fine. We'll be alright. The, uh, the Gacha police hopefully attending to another case. Gone. Bam. Let's, let's find a way to do this more sensibly this time. Uh, do, do, do you and meat shields. Oh, that money's for another another you. Why well, are there so many rebuilds? I don't think there are many. There's going to be four in total. That's just a, a quadrilogy, isn't it? That's not many. I don't, I don't think. I, I wouldn't think. Ah, you see, the problem with Mega Aphrodite is getting pretty blind spotted. Ah, but stuff's dying off. Let's take advantage of that in a useful way. He was 0 0, that's pretty melee. And has a nice big shield to protect. I mean, that's not how protecting works, really. In Battle Cats, the shield won't make any particular difference, but it makes me feel more protected. And then if we get any monies, we get Cyberpunk in in the back lines. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be doing well. Um, yeah. Hopefully. Who knows? Pretty chunky, after all. Cyberpunk is a go. Mega Aphrodite has been knocked back to a more sensible position. So that's all fine. Either 0 0 is not fine. Ah! Misclick, Paladin, again. Wait, wait, Afro's dead. Either 0 0, not doing your own job. Silius Silimus, honestly. Stoltissimus, which is actually genuinely the Latin for the most stupid. Because, I mean, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be protecting. And then Mega Aphrodite dies on your watch. Well, I hope you go into a kind of shinji, self reflexive misery over that, because that was disappointing. I'm in need of some monies. Let's get that. Have I really managed to make this incredibly difficult for myself again? I feel like that's exactly what I've done. Are they stacked, Yuri's? Yes, they are, right. You keep. Call everything Yuri. Why not? Afro might be good now. I mean, you know, she'll only be at her base. Ah, uh, Cyberpunk's gonna get got, though. It's gonna be too late. Or is it? Can he afford Shadow Gal? I, I don't know. See, he's a miserable failure, am I? Go on. Go on, my son. Oh! Oh! Is that alright? Has he done a good? What is this? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh. Lovely stuff. Nice. Nice, nice. Ha, 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 ha. Success. Just you left, Crazy Yuki. You're not going to beat me for too long. In fact, you won't beat me at all. Overall, anyway. You are going to be the big lose. Yay! We did it. It was another close one. But my laziness hasn't yet really detracted from my energy efficiency. We got both of the, the times this general slot to work. This time, maybe it should have been easier, but... Then again, it was relatively difficult, but then again, we've got another star version of it to do at some point. Which would be pretty funky. Not gonna lie. It's a worrying one. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is the one with the lots of stages, wasn't it? We'll just go through this with slot four. 
and see where it takes us. Oh, a road. I like it. An annihilation in the background. I guess it makes sense, really. Bam. Goodbye, Lost World Yuki. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. 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 Don't act like you know me. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Meow. Meow. Bullet train doing a good job there. Let's just keep sending in manic lions, I guess. Yeah. Look at that. Excellent stuff. Pretty fast. Do, 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 do. All worlds will end. Yeah. Straight into it. That's alright. Can't hear the new music. Oh that 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 is sad, yes. I will I'll go ns 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 <laughs> uh preemptively. Yes, it is a shame indeed. I mean I, I, I can hear the new music if I do this, but it, it just will briefly not sound very good. But that, let's, let's just... Uh, right. No, to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, I can't hear it. <laughs> oh well, I thought I'd be able to. Let's uh, turn that monitoring off. Okay. Nice. Do 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 do. Oop. Oh yeah, I forgot that motorcycle man appeared here. This is going to cause me more trouble than I allowed for, basically. Got to start being clever about this. As if I've ever managed to. Go on. Go on. Let me have a Bahama and don't let it get continually knocked back. Like these motorcycle boys are a kind of version of Arost. Oh dear, that was a that was a bad stalling technique. I'm gonna keep a close eye on my base health here. Oh, that's good. I like. There we go. Gamble paid off. Good. Glad it did. Bam. We're out of danger again. Hey, Bahama did a valiant job there. Good stuff. Go on then, my sons. Boom, boom, boom. Smash. I think I, I, something I've noticed in uh, this collab is something that, that was kind of a problem in other collabs is that we really seem to have um, well, I've got a reward we really seem to have got these star stages that go from really easy to genuinely really difficult and that seems to have been done properly this time I mean, I guess it's because there's so much variation within the, within this. Oh, hey. That was it. Oh, yeah. That wasn't the long one. I've done the long one then, I guess. Annihilated City. Okay. Crikey. I didn't account for that. Well, fair enough. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what we can do. What we got left? Boy from row one only. Hmm. No, I'm not sure I trust that. I feel, feel like <laughs> absolutely boosted Misato is still our best bet here. Let's do it. 
because he can't be bothered to make his own proper strat. I mean, what is he playing at? It's all right. Can can and a red enemy. It's a good start. No can can. Bit of a miss there. You'll get it next time. Boom. Okay, maybe not quite. Finally managed to catch Reggit stream. Well, I, I mean, I hope you'll like it. There's not much of it left. <laughs> I'll be honest. You've managed to catch a, a small bit of it, but a small bit is is a bit, I guess. Aha! It's the Ray Iron Army motorcycle. I remember. Okay. Uh, I, I was going to say something very strategic, but I'm actually not going to change up the strategy at all. I'm just going to spam what I have. Occasionally flip between the rows because I keep forgetting the memo that I can't use what's on the second row. And see if we win. Because them's the tactics. That's how we do it. Right up here. Good stuff. Bam. Wham. Look bam. Yes. Are you going to make any non-stream videos? I mean, I believe there there is one up. Oh. Today, actually, I've been ultra productive as a stream as well as a video. Who'd have thought it? Also, thank you very much. I love that statement because I like your editing. Oh, I that is just fantastic. That's about the top thing that someone can say to me. And I don't hear it very often, so I'm very grateful. Tar, very much. Yeah, okay, well, we'll uh, use this again. Yeah, we did all right the last time. Okay. Actually, we're going to be a bit more sensible about this. Yes, because of course, we made that slot, didn't we? The This kind of specific one for the collab that then immediately failed at Messier, because I'm amazing. But we've got Jelly Cat within this one, which is what we want. Cozy stream. I like that. That's a nice summary. I like that kind of summary of the stream. Good. Right, Jelly Cat. Do your best. Oh, already spicy. I like it. Stay alive, though. Okay, well, that, that, what you did there was not stay alive, but it, it's fine. Uh, we'll protect you with a slapstick camera thing. Yeah, that'll do. Let's hope for some monies. We got them. We absolutely got the monies. And docked, I'm trusting you to be successful. Don't, don't do the cheapest meat shield. That is unwise, Rake, my boy. It is unwise. Right. Oh, well, I mean, also not meat shielding at all is pretty unwise. But hey, maybe we can just get away with camera meat shielding. That would be also one of those wise things to do. Yes, look at that. That's a bit more of a success. Already destroyed the thing. When is your streaming schedule? Just a future reference. Uh, I, I made a streaming schedule, right? Uh, but nobody could seem to find it. And I also realised that it's kind of pigeonholing me into doing streams even when I, I don't feel like it. Like today, I really felt like streaming. Which is probably why I sound a bit more animated than usual. And no one said, oh, Reggae sounds depressed. Yeah. So that's good for me streaming there. And hopefully it's been entertaining for you. But... Um, seeming as the stream schedule wasn't, like, availing itself to anyone, making itself visible, uh, and it's sort of forcing streams out of me that I might not realistically have time to do relative to other things that I should be doing, or might not be in the mood for it, I'm just going to kind of destroy my own streaming schedule and say, I don't have one. But I mean, if there is a stream on a day... Uh, you will at least be notified on Discord about it, and it will be 8 or 9 p.m. starting, roughly, um, and it will end by 10 p.m. UK time, because that's when I have to stop streaming, which we're rapidly approaching now. Uh, <laughs> this for a video, there'd be a man pouncing in a suit, saying stuff like, Oi, Reggae, you suck. 
That is fantastic. I love that. I, I love that description. My my Michael Gove reaction face, I think you mean. <laughs> oh dear, I'm almost did a woe reggit semi cuss there. Oh, shivers down my spine. That was dangerous. Um, I like it, you're bad. I don't like anything you do, you rubbish. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that you that you appreciate that that Michael Gove reaction face. I haven't used that in a long time. Mm. Anyway, um, why'd you have to stop streaming that time? I get great question for, like, the time. Uh that it is um because i'm gonna have to stop after answering the question because i haven't got quite enough energy to carry on uh well no hang on we can yeah okay let's do this then and i'll answer the question why why while we do the level okay so i have to stop at 10 o'clock uk time because that's when my mother tells me to, frankly, you know, that, you know, bedtime for me is, is later, but apparently I'm incredibly loud, which I, I don't understand how that correlates particularly with, oh, Ricky, you sound depressed, you're talking quietly, is there something wrong? Oh, don't be sad. I mean, I say that in the, in this voice because it, you know, it, it annoys me in the sense of, I, in these points, I will very rarely be actually depressed. And so it makes me kind of, well, ironically, a bit depressed that, that people think that of me. But I, I do appreciate that people are trying to be thoughtful. I very much appreciate that. Um, but it, it, anyway, though I don't think these things correlate, correlate, someone must be wrong. Either thinking that I'm very loud or thinking that I'm somehow also quiet and miserable. Anyway. The point is, is that it is too loud to be sustained uh, while mother goes to bed. So I have to be quiet at roughly that time uh, to allow for sleep, essentially. You know, just to sort of be quiet at this time. I guess I've, I've kind of described it in a much more kind of roundabout and complicated way than just saying it's the time where I'm told to be quiet, but trying to give my best most detailed description possible whilst also stretching the description of it to last for the whole time that we have a go at doing this level and look at that nicely done well that was all rather good really uh, thank you for popping along this i think was a perfect example of a stream where there's very few people but was enjoyable nonetheless actually nothing cheered or subscribed but i still enjoyed it which is a positive step for me because usually i'm petty and miserable about that sort of thing so hooray good it's getting better hopefully um this was a stream where it only had just into double digits like 10 or 11 or 12 people here um, but we had a proper conversation going because people were consistently asking questions and saying things and i really appreciate that that allowed me to actually keep saying things and keep being engaged in the stream and not fall into a kind of miserable silence, which then perpetuates itself for people leaving and there being even more silence because there's nothing to say and so on. I need your interaction and today I got it. Thank you very much. You've been great. I hope that I've been great as well. To answer the question, will you be streaming tomorrow? Uh, yes, I believe so. Um, because I need to open up my little tickets. Little tickets, lucky tickets. Sort of little tickets, though not quite. So I'll be doing that uh, and doing my last Midas touch as it disappears from this mortal coil tomorrow. It will have to be, otherwise I will have missed the Midas touch boat, which would be very sad. And we don't want to be doing that after all the time I've spent on Midas touch, all the dedication I've given to it, and frankly, all the flipping words I've said about it. We've made some good progress through this collab today. I'll see what else I can finish off tomorrow morning to get myself some leaderships, because that's what I've been working towards here, to be able to get the Midas Touch. I'll probably stream that one on YouTube, just to allow the people who can't get to Twitch to see that one. And, uh, yeah. I hear a yawn from downstairs, basically perfectly illustrating the kind of why I have to stop now point. So that I will. 
Uh, thank you for popping along. See you at some uh, point in the future, which may be quite near. And to you all.